We all know that baking and cooking with friends and family is great fun, especially during the festive season. So to celebrate the launch of Purcell's new warm spice washing up liquid, I've come up with a great winter recipe that you can enjoy yourself or makes a great homemade gift for someone special. I'm going to show you how to make a perfectly seasonal spiced apple chutney. To make 1300ml of chutney, you'll need one tablespoon of flora cuisine, 300 grams of diced onions, 550 grams of cooking apples, 300 grams of sultanas, 450 grams of demerara sugar, two teaspoons of mustard seed, one teaspoon of sea salt, 550 ml of malt vinegar, two garlic cloves crushed, one cinnamon stick and six whole cloves. Now firstly we need to sterilise our jars. Place them upside down on a baking tray with the lids. Put them into a cold oven and turn the heat up to 130 C, gas mark one, where they need to remain for 30 minutes. I've already done mine, so it's on with prepping the fruit. So we're going to peel and dice these cooking apples and dice the onion too. Apples are perfect right now. We're getting towards the end of the season, so they're in abundance, and you might be looking for a recipe to use them up. But you can actually make this any time of year. So we've got those peeled. We're going to dice them and remove the cores. Only very roughly diced. One centimetre chunks, two centimetre chunks. They'll soon soften once they go into the pan. So that's the apples all done. Just need to finish off with the onion. So that's the onions done. We've got a stock type pan and we're going to add the tablespoon of flora cuisine and heat it up. We're going to add the onions to that and fry them until softened. So now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. Apples first, sultanas, demerara sugar, the mustard seed and the salt, the cinnamon and cloves, and then the two cloves of crushed garlic. We give it a good stir up and bring that up to the boil. Now it's boiling, we're going to turn the heat down to just a simmer, and it needs to simmer for an hour, just stirring occasionally. So feel free to go and put your feet up. So it's time to fill our jars. Now chutney, although it'd be great to eat straight away, if you leave it in the cupboard or in the pantry, for a couple of months, the vinegar soften the fruits even further and make the flavours even more complex and delicious. Fill them right to the top. Now, chutney is a lot more useful than you might imagine. It's great with cold meats and mature cheddar. In fact, any hard cheese from your cheese board. So I've packaged these up with some pretty ribbons and gift tags and they make the perfect present. <laughs>